What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the only chemicals I use for my aquarium and how I elevate it from one product to the next. Unless your water source is from a well and you don't need to dechlorinate your water, but today's video is going to be all about water conditioners. If this is your first time here, my name is Brian and I make all kinds of freshwater fish keeping videos. In this channel, I cover things like DIY projects related to the aquarium hobby, along with giving you guys updates on all of my fish. So if you like what you're checking out, stay tuned and hit that subscribe button and I appreciate your support. See, as when I first started keeping fish, I never really believed in water conditioners. When I first started, I had a couple of bettas and what my dad told me to do was to have a whole bunch of water, leave it in an open jug for a couple of days and you can use that water. Pretty much teaching me that if I aged water, it will be good to go for my fish. Now I've done this for a long time and none of my betas ever died from it. It wasn't until I started getting my bigger tanks, um, bigger as in my 10 gallons and stuff because it came from the jars because I honestly had bettas in little jars and little vases and I changed the water with aged water. But it wasn't until my 10 gallon aquarium or 15 gallon aquarium upgrade that I started using water conditioner. And the reason why I use water conditioner is because I didn't really wanna keep water hanging around for a little bit, letting it age, letting it, letting it get ready before putting it into my aquarium. I just wanted to use water conditioner to speed that up. Now, I personally never knew what water conditioner did. All I know is uh, LFS that I got all my fish stuff from back in the day told me that water conditioner takes all the bad stuff out of your water and make it safe for your fish. Now that may be true, but let me be a little bit more technical about it when it comes to what water conditioner actually does. Detoxifies tap water and breaks down chlorine. Removes chlorine and chloramine. Detoxifies ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. Removes chlorine, chloramine, and ammonia. Detoxifies nitrite, nitrate. See, with all the different types of water conditioner out there, it's very hard for you to choose uh, which water conditioner you want to use for your tank. How do you tell if your fish likes this water conditioner more than that water conditioner? Obviously, if it doesn't die, then I guess it's good, right? If it doesn't show any signs of stress, then it should be good. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you three different types of water conditioner that I've used throughout my time and how I elevated from one to the next. So the first water conditioner that I use is this brand right here. This thing has antivirus properties inside this little bottle. All in all, the reason why I chose this brand is because it had a whole bunch of stuff on the bottle that I liked, it sounded cool, and I also figured that if it had some cool text or cool types of wording on the bottle that I'll go ahead and use it for my tank. Obviously, this water conditioner does a whole lot more. It adds a protective slime coat, organic immune health aid, natural electrolytes and vitamins, organic virus and a harmful bacteria inhibitor. It detoxifies and removes chlorine and toxic metals and breaks down chloramine. Although it does a lot of cool things, I ended up switching from this to another product but the reason why I switched is because I heard a lot of good things about this next product, which is Seacam Prime. Back then when I was keeping discus, I was pretty new to the keeping fish game or whatever. Before that, I was keeping a lot of plants and whatnot, and I wanted to transition over to fish. So when I went over and switched to discus, I thought it was going to be all good. I thought it was going to be easy. And went ahead and stuffed 12 discus in a 40-gallon tank. Uh, they weren't adult-sized discus. They were about some juvies and uh, some babies and whatnot. But all in all, I stuffed 12 discus in a 40 gallon aquarium and it wasn't a good look. Went ahead and bought these discus from a private breeder. I got them for about like 20 bucks each, 30 bucks each. And I put them all in a 40 gallon and they all started showing signs of stress. I obviously know why they were stressed out now. I uh, stuffed way too many fish in that tank. But at the time I thought it was my water conditioner. So I went ahead and switched from this water conditioner right here to Seachem Prime, which was a product that was recommended on Simply Discus or I think it was like called Sears Discus or whatever. It was one of the forums for Discus Keepers. And Seachem Prime was one of the ones that were recommended all the time. So I went ahead and switched to Seachem Prime and everything was a lot better. I'm not too sure if I was dosing more or the properties in Prime was better than the properties in Cordon. I have no idea, I never tested it back then, but that's when I transitioned from that brand to this brand. And technically I was using Prime for a very long time. In fact, I was using Prime all the way up till about maybe two years ago. 
When I was using Prime, I was having way more success compared to Cordon. I'm not too sure if the dosing properties in this was a lot better than that. So as time goes on, I stopped keeping distance. I started keeping the smaller species of bikers, start stepping into the Pyaras, the red tail Barracudas. And then during this time, I started learning more about bio load, my nitrates going up. This is when I started to realize that I need to do more water changes. So I go ahead and increase my water changes from once a week to about twice a week, three times a week. I'm doing a lot of water changes here. And keeping up with water changes with bottles like this can get really, really expensive. Really expensive. All right, so it's about 20 bucks per 500 milliliter if you buy it at the store. If you buy it from Amazon, it's about 11 bucks. It might not sound too expensive, but when you have a lot of tanks, this can add up and this you can kill this bottle pretty quickly. When I was at my peak, I had about five tanks out here and five tanks inside. So a total of about 10 tanks. Now they weren't huge tanks or whatever, but I was still doing water changes for all of them. And for about five milliliters per 50 gallons, five milliliters is this cap right here. You can definitely kill this bottle pretty quickly. So you might be thinking 500 milliliters isn't too bad. Let me go ahead and show you what I've been using. I went ahead and switched from Seachem Prime to Seachem Safe. So I'm just go ahead and give you the nitty gritty. The reason why I use Seachem Safe is because it's super cheap compared to using Seachem Prime. This product right here is way cheaper than this product, way cheaper. 250 grams of Seachem Safe costs about 11 bucks on Amazon. 500 milliliters of Seachem Prime costs about 11 bucks on Amazon. 500 milliliters of Prime can treat about 5,000 gallons of water. That's what it says on the bottle. It's not bad, right? 11 bucks treated about 5,000 gallons. But 250 grams of Seachem Safe treats 60,000 gallons, 60,000 gallons for the same price. Oh, this cordon is even worse. 473 milliliters treats 960 gallons. Almost 500 milliliters treats about a thousand gallons. All right, the video's over, guys. All in all, this is the reason why I switched to Seachem Safe. It's extremely cheap if you think about it. I try not to put too much in the aquarium as I know this stuff is really, really strong. From what I heard, Seachem Safe is just a powdered version of Prime, but Prime's just way more expensive compared to Seachem Safe. So this is how I measure how much Seachem Safe that I need. I had this quarter teaspoon scooper thing inside my little container, and each one of these scoops can treat about 50 gallons of water. So in my biker tank right here, I put about two scoops, maybe about two and a half considering my sump. In the goldfish tank over there, I put about a quarter. For the datanoids, I put two scoops. My 10 gallon tank, I put about an eighth of the scoop. I just put a little sprinkle, a little dust. Honestly, how many times can you water change your 10 gallon knowing that 250 grams of Seachem Safe will only cost you about 11 bucks and it treats 60,000 gallons of water. So just to sum this video off, save yourself some money and consider getting Seachem Safe. It's a powdered version of the really popular Seachem Prime, which is obviously stronger than Cordon right there. I'm not bashing on Cordon. If you use Cordon, that's great because I used to use them as well. I just went ahead and slowly elevated to a different product and then slowly elevated from that product to the next product. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And peace, guys.